Right now, President Joe Biden continues his Chicago visit. He's on his way to a high dollar fundraiser that just got underway at the Marriott Marquis Hotel near the Wintrust Arena. This event raising money for the Democratic National Committee for the upcoming midterms. President Biden kicked off his trip to the Chicago area today with a stop in Kankakee. And that's where CBS 2's Tim McNicholas is live tonight with more on his message. Tim. Joe, President Biden visited a family farm here in Kankakee to talk about an issue hurting Americans at the grocery store, food prices and inflation. It's leaving farmers and shoppers to wonder what can the White House do to fix these issues? <laughs> President Biden toured the farm and then spoke to a small crowd of farmers and members of the agriculture industry about his plan to lower the cost of food and fertilizer. The president says he wants to increase supplies by cutting red tape for farmers, expanding crop insurance, and increasing competition among beef, pork, and poultry producers. Give farmers, ranchers, and consumers more options and bad, better prices. Look, I'm a capitalist, but capitalism without competition is not capitalism. It's exploitation. He arrived here just hours after a new report from the U.S. Department of Labor showed inflation rose again in April. It was a smaller increase than what we saw in March, but inflation is growing at its fastest pace in 40 years. The president says the war in Ukraine has worsened the problem and created global food supply challenges. Well, Ukraine says they have 20 million tons of grain in their silos right now. 20 million tons. And guess what? If those tons don't get to market, an awful lot of people in Africa are going to starve to death. As a family? The owner of the farm is Jeff O'Connor, who says before the speech, he talked with the president about ways to help farmers increase their production. We just had the honor of showing the, uh, President Biden around our farm and talking with him about the critical role American farmers play in not just keeping grocery store shelf stock for the American people, but also in feeding the entire world. <laughs> Nearby at the Kankakee Fairgrounds, supporters of former President Donald Trump protested the president's visit. That's where a shuttle bus picked up reporters for President Biden's speech at the farm. We're the only nation in the world, the only nation in the world that has come out of every crisis stronger than we went in it. And a University of Chicago economist told me today that in his estimation, to bring food prices back down to where they were, food production will have to go up by about 10 percent. And to bring down costs for gas and housing and other expenses, well, it will take even more work than that. Live in Kankakee, Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Tim.